Hey guys, welcome to your uh, love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your April 2024. You can apply this to, any, uh, to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at, and see what is next for you guys in love. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, uh, Aquarius people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys didn't know, um, I am doing another giveaway for a free 30, uh, for two free 30 minute personal readings with me on Zoom. If you guys are interested in that giveaway, check out the details on how to enter it in the community tab on my YouTube page. I posted the details there and uh, I will announce the winners on April 12th. Uh, also, if you guys want to follow me on my TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, support me on there too. So. Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius and love. What's next for Aquarius and love for April 2024? What's, what's next for Aquarius and love for April 2024 for Aquarius? For Aquarius. What's next for Aquarius and love for April 2022 for Aquarius with the Five of Swords? Seems like there's a lot of mind games. There's a lot of heartbreak here. There's gaslighting. There's manipulation here, okay? I do feel like, you know... I do feel like this is kind of sort of like a third party situation here, okay? So we have the Five of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles here. Seems like this is like an ongoing situation here, Aquarius. Let's see what else we have. Oh, yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. It's in the reverse, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take it in the reverse. Someone here at some point was playing you, was not the middle here. And now this person wants to commit. This person does not want to play anymore. I do feel like this person's definitely coming back around because I feel like this person's feeling very lonely without you. And they're realizing how much they love you after they hurt you here. Okay? So expect an offer from this person. Expect an apology from this person. My only concern is that, you know, this person, there's a lot of nights showing up. When I see a lot of nights, this is an indication that this person's flighty, inconsistent, fickle here. So I feel like this person will perhaps deceive you again. Okay. Maybe this person has deceived you in the in the past where they were like, you know what, I don't want to be a player anymore. And then this person goes back to their player ways here. Okay. The Knight of Swords and the uh and the Three of Swords, Libra, Christ, Gemini, the Seven of Swords here. Um I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this energy is not very trustworthy here. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles King of Swords, Leap or Aquarius, Gemini, the Knight of uh, Knight of Wands in the reverse, and the Empress in the reverse. Okay, you might be dealing with the low vibing em Empress here. This Empress is controlling. This Empress is needy. This Empress is uh, uh, codependent. This Empress is smothering. This. Uh, Empress is someone here to, that doesn't really basically have anything to give or that you could be feeling like, you know what, I just can't manifest with this person here. Yeah, I just can't make things happen with this person because this person keeps showing me the same energy over and over and over and over again. Okay, so yeah, so I do feel like someone here is definitely dealing with some sort of codependent person here. Whoever this person you're, that you're dealing with here, this is an individual that just cannot stand on their own two feet. I'm starting to feel like you're this masculine here. You're the mature one. You're the one that's trying to make things happen here, you know? So uh, I, I, I really don't feel like this person will get you, give you what you're looking for or what you want. I feel like this person will betray you again and hurt you again here with the Ten of Swords here. And I do feel like this person does want to come back around and reconcile here with the, with the Six of Cups. What else do we have for Fort Aquarius? What else is Aquarius that you know? Look out for and work on for April 2024 when it comes to love for Aquarius. For Aquarius. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil, Capricorn, and yeah. 
um, whoever this is, I, I really feel like when it comes to this person, you know, I, I, if you're still in this situation with this individual, I feel like it's time to let this person go. Uh, this is not really going to go anywhere. I really don't see this person changing here. Um, I do feel like this person definitely has like narcissistic tendencies here. I do feel like this person is relying on you for everything, for money, uh, for housing, uh, for a car. Uh, and I feel like this person has completely drained your energies here with the two of wands and the ten of cups. So it's kind of like you have a decision to make. Do you stay because it's safe? Or do you leave because, you know... Uh, you know, it's time to get out of the situation that's really unhealthy here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. So why is the Ten of Cups here? The Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups, okay? Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Aries Gil Sagittarius Energy. Yeah, I feel like the situation is not going to go really well here. Yeah, I do feel like you're walking in eggshells. There's a lot of stress. There's all a lot of anxiety here. I understand that you guys have a strong bond, a strong soul tie. You're in love with this person. But I feel like this is an individual that is not really pulling their weight. I feel like this person is putting you down. Um, as you are doing these like really kind and generous things for this individual here. And I feel like you're coming to a realization that it's time to end this connection here. Yeah, I feel I see you making a decision, cutting this person out and distancing yourself from this individual here and doing some soul searching, introspecting, self-reflecting here with the tower and the page of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy. So there is like an unexpected return, unexpected communication from this individual because I do feel like there's separation here uh, because I feel like it's very on and off and I feel like you keep taking this person back, you know, and I do feel like this person definitely continues to feed you this illusion here that's never going to happen. Yeah, this is just all an illusion here. All an illusion to con uh, control you here. Um, yeah, this person wants to tell you that everything is fine. Everything is okay. You know, there's nothing wrong. I do feel like there are signs of abuse here too. Okay, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands. I mean, I'm so sorry. The Six of Wands, the Emperor Aries Energy, and the Strength card Leo Energy. I feel like the most important thing that you could do is stand on your own two feet and gain the courage to walk away from this. And I feel like you will. I do feel like you will. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, Hangman, Piscean Energy, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. There's a fear of letting this go. Some of you guys might have children here. It's like kind of like I feel like you guys are staying together or that you're staying in the situation for the children. And just keep in mind, you don't want to model this type of relationship in front of your children because you know you're staying in a situation that's unhealthy unhappy and this your children let's say if you do have children the children will learn that okay being in these types of situations is okay you know so i feel like you got to look out for that too aquarius so aquarius i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye